Salvatore Maranzano was a Sicilian-born mobster who played a pivotal role in the Castamalaresi War, a brutal conflict that erupted in New York City in the early 1930s between two rival factions of the American Mafia. Maranzano's leadership and strategic acumen helped him rise to the top of the criminal underworld, but his ruthless tactics ultimately led to his downfall. Born in 1886 in Castellameri del Golfo, a small town on the northwestern coast of Sicily, Salvatore came from a family with deep roots in the criminal underworld. As a young man, he was drawn to the powerful yet secretive world of the Mafia, a loose network of criminal organizations that had established a firm grip on Sicilian society. In the early 1920s, Maranzano emigrated to the United States and settled in New York City, where he quickly established himself as a rising star in the American Mafia. He became a key lieutenant in the Morello crime family, one of the oldest and most powerful Mafia organizations in New York City. But Maranzano's ambitions went far beyond serving as a mere foot soldier for the Morello family. He was a shrewd and cunning strategist who recognized the potential for a new kind of criminal organization in America, one that was based on a highly centralized and hierarchical model rather than the loose confederations of gangs that had long dominated the criminal underworld. In the late 1920s, Maranzano began to put his plan into action. He formed an alliance with several other powerful mafia leaders, including Joe the Boss Masseria and Charlie Lucky Luciano, who were also looking to create a more unified and centralized criminal organization. Together, they formed a new alliance known as the National Crime Syndicate and set about consolidating their power and eliminating their rivals. But tensions soon began to rise within the syndicate as different factions vied for control and influence. The conflict came to a head in the early 1930s with the outbreak of the Castellamaresi War, a bloody and protracted conflict between the Masseria and Maranzano factions of the Mafia. Maranzano proved to be a masterful strategist deploying a range of cunning tactics to outmaneuver his opponents. He recruited a number of talented gunmen and established a network of spies and informants who provided him with valuable intelligence about his rivals' plans and movements. But Maranzano's most audacious move came in 1931 when he orchestrated a daring assassination plot against Joe the Boss, Masseria. With the help of Luciano and other key allies, Maranzano lured Masseria to a secluded restaurant in Coney Island and had him gunned down in cold blood. With Masseria out of the way, Maranzano quickly seized control of the Mafia's operations in New York City and began to establish a new, highly centralized criminal empire. He divided the city into five district territories, each controlled by a loyal capo who answered directly to him. Maranzano also established a new hierarchy for the American Mafia, with himself at the top as boss of bosses. He created a series of new titles and ranks for his subordinates, including underboss, consigliere, and capo de tutti capi, or boss of all bosses. But Maranzano's rise to power was short-lived. His ruthless tactics and authoritarian leadership style had made him many enemies within the criminal underworld, and it wasn't long before a group of his former allies began to plot against him. In September of 1931, a group of gunmen hired by Luciano dressed as IRS agents stormed Maranzano's office and filled them with bullets. Yet again, another reminder that the Italian-American Mafia was built on violence, blood, and greed.